How does technology influence our attention and our ability to focus? I want to start with the attention spans that we have. This is how we pay attention to the world around us and how much control we have over our focus. The research around this particular area is fascinating. It turns out that when we two work in front of a computer, especially when our phone is nearby, we focus on one thing for just 40 seconds before we switch to doing something else. And when we have things like Slack open as we're doing some work, this lowers to 35 seconds. But the reason that this is the case is not what we might think after looking at the research. We think the problem is that our brains are distracted. But after looking at the research, this is what I've come to know as a symptom for the deeper problem, which runs much more deeply. It's the root cause of this distraction. It's not that we're distracted. It's that our brains are overstimulated. It's that we crave distraction in the first place. Our brains love these tiny little nuggets of information and social media and email and these things that we do over the course of the day. There's even a mechanism in our mind called the novelty bias, by which our mind rewards us with a hit of dopamine, one of those, those wonderful chemi pleasure chemicals. And so we not only crave distraction, but our mind rewards us for seeking out and finding distraction in the first place. So this is the state of our minds today. We're at this hyper-stimulated state where we bounce around between these bunch of different objects of attention that are very, very stimulating for our mind. And so I thought, okay, if the phone had this impact on my attention span, what if I lowered how stimulated I was even more still? And so, I've, you know, this feeling that we experience when we go from being in a state of high stimulation into a state of low stimulation, it has a name. That name is called boredom. You know, this, this restlessness that we feel when we have this super busy week and then we're lying on the couch on a Sunday afternoon thinking, all right, well, what am I doing now? Uh, so I challenged, I, I put out a call to the readers of my website and I asked them, what is the most boring thing that you can think of doing? I'm going to make myself bored for an hour a day for a month. And so I did some stuff that I still I'm upset about from my readers to this day. I still think back. But curiously, I noticed the exact same effects as I did during the smartphone experiment. It took about a week for my mind to adjust downward into a newer, lower level of stimulation. 